In case you haven't used it before, curl is a great command line tool for fetching data. It supports HTTP, FTP, IMAP, SMTP, Telnet, all sorts more. I use it all the time when trying to quickly test the web server from the command line, and it's particularly helpful when you're debugging a web-based API. So the curlify library is a helper that translates a Python requests call into the curl equivalent. This can be useful if you're debugging and you're not sure whether the failure is due to your code or due to like a problem on the network. So by being able to switch to curl, you're outside of your code, so you can validate what is the network doing, and then you can figure out whether or not there's a difference between that and your code. The library is essentially a one-liner. So let's say you called request.get on a site. To see the curl equivalent, you just call curlifies to curl method on the response object. The result is a string with all the command line arguments curl needs to make the exact same request. And this goes beyond just the, hey, here's the URL. It also includes the various header values that request is doing that might have been default that you weren't even aware that they were there. It's a neat little tool. I'll be adding it to my toolbox for the next time I'm debugging an API. <laughs> 